Hello and welcome to this video, I'm going to be showing you my image creator and editor which I made in Minecraft using redstone. Now let's get into it. Um, as you can see we just have a whole bunch of darkness and a bunch of controls. Now these controls are obviously what control the screen which the image is projected onto. So how this works is we have the Y axis along here and the X axis along here. Now we can choose what X values appear on which Y values. So if we select the eighth the eighth Y value and we choose the eighth X, eighth X value, the sixth X value and let's say the fourth and fifth. And then we come over here and we confirm it by clicking right to image. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna basically draw that onto our screen. It's gonna map the appearance that we chose the pattern here as you can see off off on off on 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 off 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 which is mapped to off 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 on 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 off 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 bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. You, you you get the picture i think so we can map um onto each y value but we can also say map a couple at a time choose a couple y values and just map them on like so and the screen will bring it in and render it. So basically what we have is a scanline renderer where we choose the controls and write to the image. Um, and that's all projected on this screen with one block representing one pixel. And I will go into more depth about the screen and various other components later. At the moment we're just having a look at the basic controls. So now that we've created our pretty random image we could have saved it. However, I'm not going to save it because I don't want to. So we're going to actually go ahead and clear the image. Now, what saving does it is is it takes the image and it puts it into a memory cell. So whilst, but you can't save the image just as it is. You actually have to save the image as you're making it. It's a bit of a strange process, but um, it's the only way I could do it as such. So that's the way it is. So once you've got your saved image. Um, which isn't that image by the way, it's an image that I made prior to the video, you could come over to here and you could create the load image from memory. Now I'm rushing through this because it's quite a long, large device and I'm having to go through the controls, so I'm sorry if you don't quite follow, but I'm just showcasing it, I will do further videos explaining it. So what's going on in the machinery right now is it is loading up the image that I've saved previously. Now how it's doing this is basically how we draw it. The machine is basically drawing it. As you can see, the first pixels have started to appear. It's taking the Y values, it's checking every single Y value, and it's finding out what the corresponding X value should be at that point. It's basically plotting a graph of our image. So as you can see, it's loading upwards and it's appearing this image, which at the moment looks kind of like a space invader, but as you can see, the eyes are just about appearing of our da 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 a creeper face. So yeah, very original, I know. Who doesn't draw a creeper face on our screens? But mine drew itself. And yeah, um, it can draw anything you want it to do. It doesn't just have a creeper face. The difference between this and every other screen that you may have seen, not every other screen, but many screens that you may have seen, is they use ran they use read-only memory. Whereas this is using random access memory and permanent memory. Um, basically hard disk space and RAM. So basically what we have here is an image which was saved into memory and then loaded into RAM. Um, that was me jumping from RAM to memory. Just with my hands. Um, Minecraft hands I suppose. But um, yeah, let's have a look at the redstone behind it so that perhaps you can give a little bit more of an understanding. So I have this little... Hole, and as you can see there is quite a hell of a lot of it and that was another sort of mark one that I did I think this is actually mark four so that would be mark three but yeah so as you can see there's a lot of it um, now this is the memory cell cell um, actually it's a lot of memory cells in fact a hundred of them because there are a hundred pixels and they all need to be accounted for so this is the permanent memory cell and basically, if you switch memory saving on, every time you make a change to the image in this cell, which is directly connected to the screen, so that's how you can sort of tell the difference, um, it will also alter the corresponding cell in the large memory. 
So as you can see, we have, this is where the actual data is saved. Um, as you can see, this is basically part of the eye and another part of the eye is down. No, this is um, this is the bottom part of the eye, top part of the eye, and this is sort of the rest of the face of the creeper, all stored in the data here. And this is editable, da editable data, not edible, that would be fairly odd, but that's edible data, editable, gosh. Um, but yes, so I can change that data if I so please, and then this is the loading component over here, and basically how it works is there's a clock and the clock chooses which of the y values to do or to sort of look for i suppose and um yeah it basically reads the reads the memory in here and then sends it through the cables down here and up into the ram um, so that's a very brief overview um, i'm going to simplify it down make another video because as you can see over there that's the um, loading component so i'm going to make another video another probably another couple videos explaining each individual component to this system and if you want to see that because you're interested in that sort of thing then feel free to find the on-screen annotations the links in the description etc etc and if you're just interested in general minecraft redstone then um feel free to subscribe to my channel um That'd be much appreciated because i'm going to be doing more of these sort of things and various other things such as mini games maps tutorials the lot so um well thank you for watching and um leave a rating that'd be much appreciated if you've enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more i suppose so i'll see you guys later